A typical afternoon at Lupita's Market near downtown LA. Hungry kids from nearby schools flock here for an after-school snack, often chips, sodas, and goodies. More flavorful than healthy food. But the typical snacks are already making way for more fruits, yogurts, and healthy prepared foods. Lupita's market owner, Luz Maria Arango, and her mother have already launched their plan to give residents healthier food choices. Um, we're surrounded in an area where there is absolutely not a lot of grocery stores that sell good quality food for good prices. So if I could do something with my corner store and build something that is great and affordable and beautiful to offer to this community that I truly love, I would love to do that. And Arango has plenty of help. Los Angeles Food Policy Council hosts the Healthy Neighborhood Market Network program. The Healthy Neighborhood Market Network program is a program that works with small market business owners and helps them become successful healthy food retailers in underserved communities. Council District 13 staff members are helping with the red tape as she makes changes to her market. And the Los Angeles Food Policy Council is on board. Its mission? To stamp out so-called food deserts in LA's urban core. It's addressing the high rates of obesity, diabetes, and just poor eating habits that community residents and underserved communities have. And it's not so much because the habits are there, but, but because the access is not there. So they don't have access to making a healthy choice. And that's where small corner stores come in, is bringing in the option into these communities. At the moment, the Healthy Neighborhood Market Network is helping about 20 local stores beef up their healthy food choices from this to this. And about two of the stores a year are getting an entire transformation, including Lupita's Market. This project, uh, among many others that we work with in the community, was important to us because of the emphasis on the food deserts and the community. And we wanted to come in and help out. And we do a lot of retail work. And we felt like our expertise was one that could very simply transform this space. The healthy options are going to be front and center when people walk in. So we're featuring the center area in our designs so that it draws people into the store and to where they're making sandwiches. I noticed you guys are eating a lot of junky stuff. Yeah, I know it's not healthy, but like you could do it like at least once in like a week and stuff because it's not really healthy. You can get fat. Yeah. Are you like, sure you don't eat it every day? Not every day, but I'm not gonna lie. I do eat it often, like very often. One kid is pushing away the goodies for a nice, healthy bottle of water. Like eating healthy is good, but like if they want to eat like, like let's say a Snicker bar, it's it's all right, but like don't eat a lot. But worry not, training and food education are also part of the plan at Lupita's Market. Yes, I mean, who knows, if I could teach a class of, you know, you have five bucks or you got ten bucks, how can you eat healthy with those five bucks? More choices, more access, and more education just might mean more residents develop a taste for healthy. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week.